from Pittsburgh, Picklesburg to Rip Fest. Pittsburgh loves to honor its iconic eats. And this weekend, it's the Beaver County Maple Syrup and Music Festival that's taking center stage. Yeah, in addition to the syrup, they have axe throwing, crafting, and historical reenactments. But to be honest, they actually had us at syrup. You didn't have to say anything yeah. more. Regis Collins, the chair of the festival, and Andy Janicki, one of the historical reenactors, are here to tell us all about it. And so, Regis, we're actually going to start with you. The pancakes sure have made a name for themselves, but it's all based on the syrup, right? On the syrup, yes. Yeah. So we procure the syrup. It's Pennsylvania real maple syrup, 100%. Uh, we process it on site at the maple camp. It, there's tours available, and the entire weekend, uh, parking is free. The shuttles bring people from the parking, drop them right at the site, and they're able to tour. We have nearly 100 vendors this year. Wow. And musical performances uh, both Saturday and Sunday begin at 8.30 and run until 4.30. All right, you're teasing us right now because you're holding the syrup there. I am. Yeah. You have yet to pour anything for us to try. So talk to us about what this syrup is. This is so this is grade A. Grade A. Syrup. syrup. Did, it, did, it, did it come from trees in Beaver County or, no, or just no, Pennsylvania? No, this is from Western Pennsylvania. Western Pennsylvania, and, okay. So, and I remember because my mom lived in Vermont for quite some time, and of course they're known for their maple syrup as well, and there's like an amber... There's different degrees of syrup, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so, so what should we be, like, if we're going to so, do this like a wine tasting, what sort of things should we evaluate this? What should, should we sniff it first? The sniffing it, okay. would, you get that sweet no aroma. One ever does this. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get the sweet aroma. Oh, I'm getting that. Oh, yes. yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Oh, and and the nice great thing day. is, um, <laughs> in preparation, we take the syrup. And actually, it's cooked down to make the sugar for the cotton candy. Yeah, in fact, that, you have a number of products that might be mind blowing to people, right? Yes. So you have cotton candy. So once a, I'll okay, let you wait, try wait, those. wait, wait, wait. What did you think, Heather? It's well, it's delicious. I've never, I've never had it as a drink. Let's down it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be running circles around the stage. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's wonderful. <laughs> but it is. You it's can. Right. I will say, if you've never just tried. Pure maple syrup. It is. You get all. If the you're notes. gonna try it, do it with this. Right. This is really. So this. So this is cotton candy. This is that's also flavored like. No maple preservative. Syrup. This. They actually. The staff volunteers made this last night specifically for today's program. Oh, that's because fantastic. Because with no preservatives in it, it does not last long. You can see they filled it last night, and already it's starting to shrink in the bags. Oh, this is oh, good. That fun. I haven't had cotton candy in a long time, but I. This is the flavor you get. The syrup flavor in this. Uh -huh. yes. So that's uh -huh. why with the cotton candy produced from the maple sugar, that way folks get the opportunity to try it on the pancakes in the cotton candy form. We also right. have popcorn. That's popcorn coated okay. with the maple sugar. Mm. So. Andy, we would love to talk with you about mm. your involvement in all this because as we mentioned, there are gonna be historical reenactments right. uh, reenactments exactly. as well. Yeah, well, we're part of the Fort McIntosh garrison. We're Revolutionary War soldiers. There was a, you know, a fort built there to protect the Western frontier during the Revolutionary War. So we have a group of people, probably 10 of us there, and uh, we do the parades, we do other reenactments and things like that. But the fort was there from 1778, to about 10 years in service. Uh, the most they had there was like 1,500 soldiers. And then by 1788, the whole western frontier moved, you know, went further west, so that the, the fort wasn't really use, useful after that, so they kind of shut it down. But we, we're preserving that history, yeah. you know, yeah. of the fort and the area, and uh, it's we try to, you know, teach the younger children, you know, coming in, and we do uh, uh, musket drills. We have a, uh, a six-pound cannon, field piece, and we're going to be firing down there wow. you know, twice a day, once at 10, 10 o'clock, and then also at 2, which, I mean, you have to have pretty much have earplugs. Yeah. If you're, if you're I, yeah. Don't be wow. alarmed if you're in that area and, and you, you hear, hear it. That. Yeah. It's not an invasion. It's Andy and his friends. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> right. Making noise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we actually announced prior to the yeah, 10 and 2 that so that happening. the general public knows so that people with PTSD or yeah. anyone That's on important. the spectrum of yeah. autism for yeah. noise sensitivity. No, so they know. We yeah. uh, stop our pony rides and the petting zoo also. So Just people, shut it down so everybody can. That way, for yeah. safety Makes reasons, sense. we made sure. Well, what a great, great thing to embrace and base a festival on. I know. Like, really, great and idea. Truly, one and of the this, four food groups. So. Well, <laughs>
<laughs> and it's free, we should mention. The yes, 44th, we love that. The 44th uh, edition of the Beaver County Maple Syrup and Music Festival takes place Saturday and Sunday this coming weekend at Brady's Run Park on Route 51. Yeah, and one of the best parts, as Heather mentioned, it is free. And for the full schedule of events, just go to our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com, and try some of the cotton candy. Yeah, you got to try it. Surprisingly good. Okay.